There are so many times when I'm up on the mountain that I think to myself, what did you get into this time? And how is this place even real? I can't not look over the next ridge. I can't not wonder what's over that horizon. I am a hunter. I hunt for adventure, I hunt for food, and I hunt for the sake of the wild. I think what is calling me out to explore is the same instinct that's inside all of us. The same thing that tells us when we're hungry or we're tired, that tells us to find shelter when we're cold, or that would drive us to do anything we had to just to survive. I think it's a natural instinct of man to explore, to forage, and to provide. The places we go and the animals we find are all part of what drives us to do more. We expend our resources and our time for the sake of fulfilling our calling for the conservation and preservation of all creatures and all creation. In my mind, a life well lived is all about finding personal freedom, finding social balance, and finding your place with the wild. There's nothing like being out in the wild alone. You want to know what I love about hiking solo and just being up here by myself? It's the ridge lines, the mountaintops, the wildlife, all of the elements and the uncertainties. It's all a part of the allure. The various peaks are beckoning, but the streams and piercing winds seem to be giving warning to go back. There's so much that goes into preparing for a trip like this, weeks and months, and sometimes years in advance. You learn to predict the future and know what to expect, and through various experiences, to expect the unexpected. Uh, big ass bear, oh, big ass bear right there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That is a gigantic bear. Dude, he was right here, right in front of us. <laughs> the craving to explore and travel to far off wild is within us. Maybe it's an addiction or maybe just a sickness. Maybe it's an ancestral need. I don't know what you can see, but I made it to the, to the bay, almost. Just gotta go down this landing spot right there. Step two step. Oh, Big hole. I can't say what fuels it for everyone, but to some I wonder, if it is merely just the idea of having an adventure that satisfies the desire. For some of us, we become restless and the beckoning gets louder and calls out more often. And finally, we have no choice but to give in. Put on some frozen boots. Go tread some frozen tundra. We spend countless hours planning and looking at maps exploring the writings of others and charting new paths. Things we'd like to see, places we'd like to go, trying to define our reasoning by the adventures we hope to have. Stay on this backside until I get where I figure I'm right on freaking top of him. <coughs> to some, the reasons are merely a formality 
but it is only the going and the doing that will ever satisfy. Subsequently, we're trading our time for more good times, our experience for greater experiences, and our dreams for bigger dreams. There's a bull over there. There's a bull down here. I need the big bulls in there. But the winds are super squirrely, so I'm sure the elk are on edge. The idea of planning and pulling off a new adventure in a new place is merely just the remedy for the desire. But it's the point when ideas turn into a plan, and plans turn into commitment. And commitment, that's when you put on your big boy undies and life gets real. Down this ridge, down the saddle, to the bottom, and then we'll set up camp right there next to that little creek. Spend the night. Good. For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it, not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't going to be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite, went through the whole list, and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip, and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. There are a lot of things that make me uncomfortable. I think we find our most memorable moments in life when the thoughts of basic comforts are the farthest things from our minds. Hunting and exploration is supposed to have a certain level of discomfort, isn't it? Even the very explanation of hunting is uncomfortable enough to have with someone who doesn't understand. All right, starting the serious climb. We're gonna go up over that saddle right up there. Conversations of conservation and preservation, habitat restoration, harvest objectives and predator management are overwhelming enough even for those of us who do understand the ongoing debates. Honestly, my preference is to take my confrontations up with nature and the wild. I can't change the minds of all who don't understand, but I can take care for how I represent the hunt. I wonder if the best way for others to understand our position on hunting is not in explanations at all, but rather within the sharing of the whole of it. Woke up this morning with the sunrise in my eyes. Just like a new day, a breath of fresh air in my life. I don't know how and don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life. There are so many reasons why we are driven to hunt, but nothing in the world fuels me more than the wild places I choose to explore. This is damn. You see how sturdy it is. It's mucky. I don't know how don't know why I'm now my life. I think it's the very places we seek out to have our adventures in that makes anything we do extraordinary. Being in a new wilderness for the first time is unreal. Even those places we've been before hold a special place in our hearts and we have an overwhelming desire to come back. There are those who believe that the wilderness should be left alone, that it is a place where man shouldn't be, for all things wild to live wild just for the sake of being. The mere idea that these wild lands exist is enough to pacify their lack of curiosity. But for the few, the few who choose to live and to see, it is the actual physicality of being there and seeing those wild places that will ever be enough. Nothing is forcing us to go out into the wild, but something is definitely calling us there. 
And then the third thing, which is probably the most important thing that's gonna happen today, is I am not gonna sleep on the ground again. I put my second patch on last night. And the gum thing. We seem to be a culture of entertainment, a people of constant media consumption, and we have so many opportunities to live that surround us. But do we do it? Maybe we're spending too much time watching and not enough of our lives actually doing. Lunker, man. Lunker. Steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat. Dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum. Wild animals are valued by hunters above anything else in our lives, other than our family and our faith. No other group gives more of their time or monies, their heartache or sacrifice for wildlife than we do as hunters. Our self-imposed taxes, our conservation groups, and major brands who understand the value that is placed on these creatures. We spend time with the wild, interacting and understanding how nature works and how important the human role is to play. Most non-hunters get the concept of hunting for food, but do they understand how hunting is the most effective management strategy for the betterment of the wild? Wow. Oh, wow. This is a reindeer. They just had somewhere in mind that they wanted to be. This ramp's beautiful. Oh, he is gorgeous. gorgeous. Maybe we can change our world around. Maybe we can wage this fertile ground. Theodore Roosevelt once said, here is your country, cherish these natural wonders, cherish the natural resources, cherish the history and the romance as a sacred heritage for your children and your children's children. Hunters may be among the very few in society who actually get this. I think one of the most difficult arguments for hunters to have is the explanation of how harvesting of wildlife is a necessary management tool. Hunting is the activity arm and the funding source for wildlife conservation, habitat preservation, and public access. 
Hunting is not a right we should expect to have. It is a privilege, afforded to us by the voting majority that does get it. Our role as hunters is to stand together to propagate that level of understanding. Maybe we can change our world around. Maybe we can waste this fertile ground. The time we have may never come around The time we have can surely be right now oh. Oh. For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, vinyl harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. It is the activities we do and the places we go that will define us. But it is those people whose lives we influence and who we are energized by in return that will ever make us whole. The more time I spend in the wild alone, the more I recognize the value I gain from spending time with others. Last plane I could fly because it had a stick over on the side. It's not fair. Trade me seats. Let's do it. As a resident of Alaska, I kind of get desensitized to all this. Sometimes you take it for granted a little bit. But when you got someone that loves to be here and is just in awe of Alaska, like Tim is right now, it just kind of rejuvenates and renews my sense of why I love it here so much. And it's just starting. Yeah, it's a little bit better from here. Right? Tomorrow is never promised, but we live for it anyway. We go to the mountains and the wilderness to find our wild, but by doing so, we find ourselves. Mikey went ahead and uh, threw out the decoys. We have a couple of doe decoys down here. We're hunting over this food plot. <laughs> this is a destination field. This is where they all like to go and socialize, congregate. I might not be a better hunter, but the old crock pot in there tells a different story right now. <laughs> Tell <on> the tape. <laughs> <laughs> this is living it up right here, isn't it? Huh? Nice deer on the ground, big old buck, best friends, eating our stogies. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than a stogie. Sweet, sweetest fish in the Sour Patch Kids. All right, not gonna lie, this is one of the best feelings of my life, just seeing my brothers coming up the... <laughs> I kinda like my brothers. Oh, I need a picture of this for the guy I bought. This poncho. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nice having a go guy. That's what they call that. Yeah, you're a go guy. Go guy. Hey, that tree needs cut. Go guy. Nice. Fuck, man. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I just got a note from the pilot and they bumped the flight up to 2.30. So we're gonna have to get slice and dice. Are you kidding? Pack. Yeah. 
No, I'm not joking. Thank you very much for waiting for me. I was like, I wish. I hope we get a picture together. Oh, look at the blade and the sticker. I know the sticker is cute. Oh. Yeah. You're like, you want to go after him with the bow? I'm like, I think you should shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Good. <laughs> oh, right on. Like a cup of hot chocolate. Oh man, you are the master. Gonna stir that up, and we're gonna have some Very hot, careful. some mojo. With the heart of gold, I oh, could give dude. it all to you. With the heart of gold, I can buy the world for you. But for now, I am just flesh and blood. That's true. With my heart of gold, my love is rich for you. I am an outstanding father and a marginal husband. I work hard daily. I go to church, the ballpark, and baseball games. I play golf and lounge around at the beach. You don't need a reason to do anything adventurous in life, but why not give yourself one? I am a 100% average person of no extraordinary talent or resource documenting and sharing some of the more extraordinary circumstances of my life. I truly believe that no matter what you set out to accomplish in life, that you have to find your why. And I don't think it comes from nothing. The why can only come to us by doing. The more we do, the more we see. The more we see, the more we understand our role within nature. When we discover our role, then we realize it's all about a balance. Balance is the key to everything. Balance is what keeps you honest with yourself. Balance keeps you free from guilt. And balance is ultimately what keeps us all alive. When I see something extraordinary that someone else does, I get inspired. I also know that it is just one sliver of their life that they allow us to see. There's always much more to anyone's story. My hunting stories are for the ordinary, like me, to provoke and to inspire in some small way. I believe when someone ordinary conquers the extraordinary, that's when you found your wild. Side. Oh, you're going and I'm staying? Yeah. Screw that noise. <laughs> Definitely ain't staying. I'm going home. <laughs>